بسم الله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحاب أجمعين ومن اهتدى بهديه إلى يوم الدين وبعد We give thanks and praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us and giving us this opportunity to bring you with another reminder from the scenes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from our series from the 40 hadiths of Imam Nawawi rahimahullah ta'ala and today our reminder will be hadith number 13 from the compilation of Imam Nawawi rahimahullah and give, brings us to our 13th hadith in the series hadith narrated by Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a very famous hadith very famous statement la yu'minu ahadukum hatta yuhibbu li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsihi or kama qala alayhi salatu wa sallam that no one not a single person truly believes no one believes until he loves for himself he loves for his muslim brother what he loves for himself he loves for his brother what he loves for himself a person in reality the hadith itself the linguistic meaning the terms that's used in the hadith is very clear there is no doubt there is nothing which we won't be able to comprehend and understand from this simple word that a person believe a faith of a person the iman of a person lies in loving for another brother loving for someone else the same exact thing as you love for yourself and scholars have mentioned in what is meant here by the person la yu'minu ahadukum a person does not believe no one of you truly believes no one of you believes as i'm translating them say no one of you truly believes because scholars I've mentioned that this is referring to la yu'minu ahadukum no one of you have iman tamma complete iman no one of you will have that pinnacle of iman that complete iman if you do not love for your muslim you do not love for your brother what you love for yourself and you love for your brother as in for him to carry out action to do action of ta'at of obedience of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and carry out action that is permitted and permissible in Islam carry out action that is liked and beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just as we want to attain Jannah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we also want that goodness for others and in having goodness for others and having that desire for ourselves we have the same desire for others to have we want that goodness that same goodness we want for ourselves we desire that same exact goodness for others to also encounter it in their life and there are various and many ways of how we can go about and how we can love for another person as we love for ourselves and similarly we deal with each other we deal with one another just we deal with one another in a fair manner and in an equal manner is also a form of showing love towards him that's why and in islam it comes to say that we don't see by color, we don't see by race, we don't see by country because Islam, it does not differentiate in regard to the skin color of a person. It doesn't re differentiate from whatever country you are. But loving one another, treating one another right and equally, it goes in all categories and it does not only focus on one specific species or one specific being. So this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brings us back to something that is general to something that how we want the ni'mat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the same ni'mat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we want for one another for someone else mercy that we show uh, or we want mercy to be shown to us the same way how we want mercy to be shown to us the same way how we want someone to treat us the same exact mercy and compassion we should also be treating one treating someone else with we should also be treating another person in the same exact mercy and the same exact compassion that we want our own self we want our own sibling we want our own offspring to be treated with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in another hadith mentioned al mu'minu al mu'minuna kal jasad al wahid 
that the believers they are like one body that if one part of that body one limb of that body was to complain of a of a pain or to endure some difficulty the entire body will encounter our the entire body will call and will retire towards that same pain so the believer in our life is the same as one another we support one another both spiritually both physically a believer is there for his muslim brother he protects his honor he protects his name and unfortunately today na'udhu billah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us that in our time today instead for us to be protecting our muslim brothers protecting their name protecting their dignity the more or the farther away we are from our muslim brother or from our muslim sister that is the time when we want to speak more evil and more bad about them the time when they are not in our presence when we're supposed to be protecting them and safeguarding their honor that is the time allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbid us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from it but that is the time that we are falling in the conversation of harming these people or conversation that will degrade these people and may give them as we see in, in the west indian term we say give them a bad name a very important point and a very important uh, lesson from this hadith is that we as Muslims, we should also not be arrogant. And being arrogant comes in various form. And one of that form in this in this regard, when this hadith, how it's mentioned, is not for us to belittle one another, not for us to belittle someone else, not for us to look down upon another. Because whether you look down upon someone you're trying to make yourself as if, you, as if you're more superior and if you were to be in that same shoe and in that same place and that same position you will never want someone to look down upon you you will never want someone to think that they are better than you rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam admonished us from this and he said that whosoever have in his heart a mustard seed weight a mustard the weight of a mustard seed of pride he shall not enter paradise even that small mustard seed of weight of pride in the heart of someone you will not enter paradise so we need to humble ourselves we need to bring ourselves closer towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need to bring ourselves such that we need to be ourselves such human that mankind love us and mankind love to be among our company because why we are beneficial to mankind that mankind can be with us and mankind can feel comfort mankind another person will be next to us and they'll be able to sit in our company enjoy our company take benefit from our company and they can always find some sort of comfort in a person's company that is how humble a muslim should party in his life and a muslim should endure his life and make his lifestyle become such that he is such a person that he's rafiq he's such a person that he is he has shafaka he has kindness he has compassion that people are willing to come in his company not someone that shun away people not someone that make that turn people away or someone that does not even smile that's why islam rasulullah so mentioned that smiling is part of charity as a fact to show that even to smile to draw people towards you to draw people closer towards you is part of a quality and part of a characteristic of a muslim so this is very important in this hadith of rasulullah reminding us telling us that our iman to for us to consider ourselves to be completely with iman because iman is our inner belief something which we do not see outwardly so for us to consider ourselves deeply and our iman to be that pinnacle and that high rank is to such an extent that we love for another being we love for another brother what we love for our own self the same benefit that we want we sacrifice for our own selves as the other brother can also have it and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us that we can be from among those who will fulfill the quality of the hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying that our iman can be complete and from the other hadith of rasulullah sallallahu saying that the mu'min the believers are like one body so let us become as one human body let us become as muslim ummah uh, that we reach out to one another we can reach out to one another for support not just monetary but physically spiritually reach out to one another let us become such individual ourselves that anyone 
our brother, our neighbors want to reach out towards us. We are so compassionate. We are so reachable and that they will not have any fear of approaching us, of coming forward towards us with any sort of assistance that they may need. And let us all be such, inshallah, we are willing that we love for our Muslim brother, we love for our neighbors, we love for our friend. The same, the same situation, the same scenario, the same exact thing that we love for ourselves. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to give us strength. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.